All right, so I eventually did get this to work. Now, here's what I want to show you in this video. I wanted you to install Windows 11 on a PC that doesn't have a TPM chip. Now, the PC has plenty of power. It's just that Windows 11 doesn't want to install unless it sees a TPM chip present. So I purchased a TPM chip on Amazon. See the link in the description if you want to pick up the same TPM chip. Now, this worked, and I was able to get past that first error saying that my PC didn't meet the minimum requirements. Now, after this, I received another vague error, basically saying that the install couldn't proceed. So I played around with a ton of BIOS settings for what seemed like hours, and I couldn't get it working. I tried pretty much everything. Now, um, after that, I built a custom Windows installation flash drive using Rufus. Now, this saves a lot of trouble and makes things a whole lot easier, building a custom flash drive with Rufus. Um, with this, I wouldn't even need the, I wouldn't have even needed the TPM chip. You can pretty much bypass that requirement. I have another video showing you how you can create a Windows 11 install disk with Rufus. So check that out. But unfortunately, this also didn't solve my problem. Now, finally, I disconnected all the disks in the system, except for the one that I actually wanted to install Windows on. I had five disks in the system because of the multi-boot system with multiple Linux distros on it. Now, this actually worked. So it seems like the Windows installer gets confused when you have extra disks installed. So I added the extra disks back afterwards, and I was able to successfully multi-boot Windows and all my Linux distros that I already had on there. Now, none of my Linux installs had any issue with this. I was able to just install them on whichever disk I specified. And Windows lets you specify a disk, but apparently it just gets confused if the other disks are present. Remove the, di the other disks, install Windows, and then install your other disks back. That worked for me. It shouldn't be an issue, but it was just an issue in this case. So yeah, anyways, successfully multi-booting with uh, Windows 11, Arch Linux, Ubuntu, and Linux from scratch. Now, in conclusion, the TPM chip isn't needed if you use Rufus. Rufus is highly recommended, and uh, just remove the extra drives because Windows can get confused. So that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to show you some screenshots of, uh, or basically some screen recordings of me installing the TPM chip and me trying to boot up my PC. So we're going to switch over to that right now. All right, here we are at the Windows installer. I'm going to say install now. And yeah, please excuse this dirty screen. Um, it's just what I was working with at the moment. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see my reflection there. Um, recording that with my phone. Um, yeah, I didn't do an actual screen capture with an HDMI capture cable. But uh, anyways, just wanted to quick capture this here while I was doing it. But anyways, moving along here. Um, installed Windows 11 Pro, and here it says you don't meet the minimum requirements, um, which is not a huge surprise, no TPM chip. So here is the TPM chip I picked up off of Amazon. Remember, check the link in the description if you want to pick up this same TPM chip. So, yep, there it is. Um, from every different angle, there's me just, you know, turning it around. Those are what the, what the little pins look like on the chip and uh, yeah you're gonna plug it into something that looks like that on the system board which we're gonna show you in just a sec and here we go here's my system board yep so we cut away to this and that right there where I'm pointing at like my the tip of my fingers covering it that was the spot where you'd install it and above there I don't know why I was pointing at that PCI slot above it but yeah right there where my fingers pointing and here I zoom in and pan down a little bit you can see right there that, that's where it's going to go. And you, you can see I'm going to actually plug this in right on camera. But, um, yeah, let's give this a shot. You can, it's not the most perfect camera angle, but I was basically holding my phone, which I was recording this with at the time, while trying to stick this in here at a kind of an awkward angle. But there we go. There it is installed and in place. Uh, neat little chip just sticking out of my system board. Kind of neat that I can add that functionality and that ASUS provides that. Um, don't just buy this chip. Make sure you get the right one for your board. So yeah, yeah don't just buy this off of my uh, link unless your system board supports it. Anyways, continue on with the installation and dirty monitor again. Um, yeah, this particular monitor. Yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, so back to this, uh, skip the product key, blah, 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 moving along. And 
moving along, continuing on. You know, just accept the the license and everything. Go next. Custom install. Because we're not upgrading anything, there's nothing on this disk. So notice I have a bunch of disks here. Um, I selected the correct disk I wanted and you know skipped ahead to uh, this part where it's attempting to install and it'll do this for a while until it eventually gives me an error message. So I'm gonna skip ahead until it actually does give me the error message and there it is. Um, could not prepare the computer to boot to the next phase of installation. So anyways, I'm cutting away here to me. Um, this is just me recording myself uh, fiddling around with uh, bio settings like disabling fast boot and stuff like that. Now I tried like every, I didn't record every single thing that I did, but I recorded a lot of them. Um, there's no point in following what I did here exactly. It may be a little bit different on your um, BIOS, but I basically tried every combination of every one of these settings um, and, and it didn't work. And some of them can cause problems with the Windows installation, particularly Windows 11 installation. But in any case, it didn't work because the problem that I was having had nothing to do with the uh, settings in the BIOS. The problem that I was running into actually had to do with uh, just Windows getting confused with all the disks in my system, which you, you saw when I was running the installer. There was a whole list of disks to choose from. You can select the right disk, but then it gets confused. And just instead of telling you that it's confused, it just sort of gives you that vague error message that we saw before, and it, it kind of just bombs out on you. But um, through just Googling around and finding similar issues that other people had, I was able to figure out that was the issue. Just tried it on the off chance it would work, and removing all the disks except the one that I wanted to install on did solve my problem. I don't have that captured here, but I have a ton of other Windows, or a few other Windows videos that I recorded on the finished system that show basically that I used the this Windows installation to create those videos anyways yeah so in the end it worked out after fiddling around with all those settings and uh, that that's about it that's that's pretty much all I had to share with this maybe this will help someone maybe if nothing else hopefully it's interesting to watch um, yeah you might want to give me a thumbs up if you have your own experience with any of this stuff definitely leave a comment down below not just for me but for anyone else who watches this video and um, yeah, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because we, have, we do have more content like this. We also have a lot of other great content. We do like Raspberry Pis, um, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, basically all the different OSs, all the different tech stuff you can do, electronics, networking, um, 3D printing, robots, um, just a ton of great tech stuff, servers and all sorts of neat stuff you don't want to miss out on. So hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so YouTube will actually let you know when we do come out with new videos. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.